Hello everybody, welcome to another Dakman Productions video and welcome to a second series of All About USA Trains and this video is called The Special and Custom Runs of USA Trains. This series is dedicated to trains that were created by or produced by USA Trains that were for um, custom runs that you would have not have seen in a catalog or a magazine. They pretty much left it up to those who were ordering them to uh, promote those items. So what makes these uh, special custom runs unique is that although they were produced by USA Trains, the design and concept of them were done by several people, uh, not by USA Trains uh, mainly. So what happens is there was people or organizations or clubs and uh, that got involved into design concepts and once they came up with the design they presented it to USA Trains to produce. So this series is sort of like special because there are other people besides USA Trains who were behind the design concept of these special custom runs. So I'm sure a lot of these custom runs will have a lot of personal uh, touch to them because every time I posted a picture of a USC Trains custom run I would always get some kind of feedback oh my grandfather was involved with that or my dad or my uncle he was a member of this board that was involved in it. so there's there are a lot of people involved in creating the paint schemes of these USA Trains custom runs all right, so we're going to get started on the custom runs of USA Trains in alphabetical order. And here we have a custom run that was made for a hobby shop called All Board Junction Hobby Shop, which was located on 1130 1st Street, 8355 Monterey, St. Gilroy, California. All Board Junction Hobby Shop had USA Trains make 70 ton hopper cars in their granite rock road name now granite rock is a real railroad that hauls just that granite rock which was actually white so the first year which was 2003 that usa trains produced this actually had a colored but the next four years of production because usa trains made five different road numbers so there was five of these all together so starting in 2004, USA Trains made the uh, colored white instead to represent the granite rock. And so USA Trains produced the granite rock from 2003 to 2007. However, the 2003 version had um, the coal in it instead of the granite rock. All right, so next up we have USA Trains custom runs made for Art Map in Surrey, BC, Canada. And sorry if I chopped up the name. Unfortunately, Art Map is uh, out of business, but uh, they did have USA Trains exclusively make them uh, Canadian trains. So we'll, we'll take a look at them. Uh, first, we have this. Uh, Woodside Reefer Alexander Pale Ale. Only 200 of these were ever made. Now, next we have the Woodside Caboose in the Canadian National Road name. Uh, only 100 of these were ever made. Here is a photo originally provided by Art Knapp, used with permission of Art Knapp. The uh, Extended Vision Caboose in the Canadian National. Only a hundred of these were ever made. However, um, USA Trains does have, did make a different road number caboose uh, in the same caboose as a regular run. So you had the, this custom run with a different road number and a regular run by USA Trains. Next up, we have a Canadian National NW2 locomotive. There were actually two road numbers of this produced, number 7944 and number 7961. 
only a hundred of each of those were ever made. And sorry for the blurry, unprofessional pictures, but this is what Art Nat Train sends, sent me, and like I said, gave me permission to use. So here we have a USA Trains Canadian Pacific S4 locomotive. Again, custom run made for uh, Art Nat. They made two road numbers of them, number 7102 and number 7108, and they only made 50 of each of those road numbers. USA Trains also made this Woodside Reefer in the Northern Breweries uh, road name for Art Nap. Only 200 of these were ever made. Now here we have a Woodside Reefer made for Art Nap called Cory Slug and Snail Bait. Uh, Came with actually came with a certificate of authenticity. Only a hundred of those names were made, and this also was sold by USA Trains as well as Art Map. So it did receive the stock number of R16270. Next up, we have a Woodside Reefer in the Alaska Fish Fertilizer. Once again, it came with a certificate of authenticity. Only 100 of these were made, um, sold by both USA Trains and ArtNap. So this one also received a uh, stock number of R16271. Next up, USA Trains actually made a Canadian National NW2 train set exclusively for ArtNap. Uh, once again, USA Trains also sold the set, so this also received a stock number of, from USA Trains of R72192. So next is a custom run made for B&R Railways in Las Vegas, Nevada. And this is a Woodside reefer called Las Vegas Pair of Dice, and it was made in 1994. All the ads for this one say it was an exclusive box car, but in the actual picture of the ad, it was a reefer like this one. Next up, made for B&R Railways, is called the Las Vegas Mega Train. Also, it was made in 1995, and only 120 were made. It was also done on the Woodside Reefer. Next up are custom runs made for a company called Bowman or Bowman, it's spelled B-A-U-M-A-N-N, -N, manufacturing in Germany. Here we have a special custom run in the Lowenbrau, done on a Woodside Reefer. It was made in 1993 and only 100 were made. Next up, we have another custom run made for them, and it was called Erdinger. And again, I'm guessing I'm spelling it right. But it was done on a Woodside Reefer, made in 1994, and only 100 of these were made. Next up, we have uh, USA Trading's custom runs made for the Bay Area Garden Railway Society. So their first one was this blue one. If you notice, it says B-A-G-R-S number 001. This was made in 1995. USA Trains also made a red version of that, but it was very limited. Next up, we have uh, USA Trains custom runs made for the big train show for both the when the show is at the Queen Mary and at the Ontario Convention Center. So first up, we have this American Series uh, steel box car made for the 1994 show. This is the 1995 Big Train Show, Best in the West, done on American Series Woodside box car. We sort of skip a couple years and go to the Big Train Show, the Hobo Barbecue. Done on American Series with Side Reefer. Next up, we have Round the Clock. Rock Around the Clock, that is. 
1999 big train show um, Woodside Reefer. And by the way, uh, that same year, 1999, uh, Bachman gave away a uh, Great Northern Woodside Boxcar. So that was the uh, show giveaway that year. Next, we have the 2000, the Queen Mary. Two thousand and one, the uh, Gold Rush days, uh, USA Trains as good as gold. Now we have the two thousand two USA Trains winner every time, and for two thousand two, Aristocrat gave away a show car. Uh, compliments of. Uh, Garden trains. Next up, we have a 2003 Big Show USA Trains, leader of the track. Next up, 2004 Big Show Lady Luck. Next up, 2005 Big Show Add a Little Magic. Um, I'm not sure exactly what happened if USC Trains didn't sell enough at the shows, but this one ended up receiving a stock number of R16322, so I'm thinking whatever was left over from the show, they decided to sell in the catalog. Two thousand and six big show, farewell to the Queen Mary. 2007 Big Show Magic Dinner. 2008 Big Show Joey and Maria's Italian Wedding, which was an actual uh, show performance. That's what the show performance was called. 2009 uh, Big Show Joey and Maria's 25th anniversary wedding anniversary. 2010 Big Show Bootin' Scootin' Family Hoedown. 2011 uh, Big Show Joey and Maria's Hawaiian Honeymoon. 2012 The Big Show The Kroner Pack. 2013 A Tribute to Elvis Presley. 2014, the ultimate Willie Nelson tribute. And 2015, uh, Dolly Parton. Alright, next up we have special custom runs for the Big Train Operators Club. Now this is not all of them, but these are all that I have photos of currently. So here what you're looking at is the 2012 34th Big Train Operators Club Anniversary Celebration Orange Blossom Special done on the American Series Piggyback Flat Car. There was actually a matching custom run Woodside Reefer made to go with this trailer by somebody else. Here we have the 2014 uh, BTO club car uh, USA Trains S4 diesel switcher locomotive. Uh, from my understanding USA Trains was taking uh, B and O diesel locomotives and, and special painting them into uh, BTO uh, locomotives, but I'm not exactly sure if that's what really happened. So here is another uh, BTO custom run done on a USA Trains 50-foot mechanical reefer. Uh, this was the BTO annual club car for 2005. Here is a 2011 BTO Work Caboose, which was part of the Work Train series. 
and only 75 of these were made. And as you can see here, there will not be a second run. So a lot of these were limited and never to be produced again. Next up, we have a 2012 BTO club car, engineering car made by USA Trains, and only 60 of these were ever made. For 2015, the BTO had USA Trains make a two-tier auto carrier car in black for them. It was the uh, their annual convention car, um, but their the, this was sold as a set with the blue one. So the only way to get this black one you had buy a two-car set. If you only wanted one, then you were stuck with the uh, traditional blue BTO uh, colors of the um, two-tier auto carrier car. So here we have something a little unique. Um, USA Trains made uh, these Woodside Crayola reefer cars for a company called Benny and Smith Company, which I believed at the time made uh, the Crayola crayons. And this is basically uh, celebrating Crayola crayon number eight and was given out as awards by the company. So, I'm not sure how many were made, it's, I'm sure it's very limited, and when, when they gave them out, they put plaques on them, and as you can see here, the person's name, they wanted their privacy kept, so there was a sticker put over the name to hide it, but, you know, there was a 40 years of service plaque, so this was never available to the public, these were cars that were ordered to give out to employees, whether they had a G-scale train or not. Here we have a custom run originally made for a place called Castle Trains. Uh, there was two different road numbers of the Chicago, Illinois, Midland um, boxcar that you see here. Uh, road number 16061 and road number 16062. There were only 50 of each made. However, uh, they were not very well sold. Uh, out of the 100, Castle Trains only sold 60 of them. Uh, due to lack of sales, uh, Castle Trains ended up selling the remaining stock to RLD Hobbies, which I'm sure by now he's probably sold them all. So as you can see here, this particular box ha is double stickered. It has the original Castle Trains and Treasures uh, sticker on it, and then it has the RLD Hobbies uh, sticker on top of that. Next up, we have a custom run done for the Chicagoland Garden Railway Society. Uh, this was done in 1991 on an American Series simulated steel boxcar with a wood side door. So here we have uh, custom runs made uh, for college eight trains, uh, basically college football series. And this uh, South Carolina cockaboose uh, railroad caboose uh, really did exist at the time this was created. Um, it was done on the Ultimate Series Extended Vision caboose, but this caboose was uh, mainly on display. Um, the real version anyway. Next up we have the South California University uh, done on the American Series Woodside Reefer. And so here is the uh, label for the South Carolina University uh, American Series Woodside Reefer. Alright, so next up we had a place called Denny's Restaurant, located in Charleston, West Virginia, that uh, had USA Trains make a couple Denny's custom run with side reefers for them. So there was this green version, and this white version. It is unknown when they were created, um, 
and how many were made. But as you can see here, we'll, we'll blow this up. There is the actual um, location of the Denny's that uh, had these made. So next up we have the East Coast Large Scale Train Show uh, custom runs. So the Star Hobby commissioned USA Trains to make special custom runs for certain years of the East Coast Large Scale Train Show when it was still located in York, Pennsylvania. So here we have the 2014 East Coast Large Scale Train Show USA Trains Woodside Reefer. Here is a old export Cumberland Brewing made for a uh, East Coast large scale train show exclusive. Next up we have the old Dutch brand Queen City Brewing once again made for the East Coast large scale train show in 2015. Next up we have Georgia Winery uh, Georgia on, the, on my mind uh, East Coast large scale train show 2016. Uh, Woodside Reefer. Next up we have the Pennsylvania Root Beer uh, East Coast Large Scale Train Show 2016 car as well. Next up we have the 2017 East Coast Large Scale Train Show and it was dedicated to a person by the name of Harry Hartman who uh, ran the East Coast Large Scale Train Show for several years. Next up we have uh, custom runs made for a company called Feather River Canyon Loco Works located in Pagosa Springs, Colorado. Once again, if I butcher these names up, sorry about that. <laughs> so uh, they had USA Trains do what they called a Beer Whiz Beer Series, Bear Whiz Beer Series uh, cars. And this is like a comical, amusing series of cars, but we'll take a look at them. First up, we have the Bear Whiz Brewing Company number 906. And this was done on the USA Trains uh, Woodside Reefer on a 200 on eight. Number 907 was the Bear Whiz Light. And it was also done on Woodside Reefer, 200 were made. Next up, we have uh, Bear Whiz Angler's Ale, number 908, 200 made. Next up, we have a Ms. Bear Whiz, number 909, only 200 made. Next up, we have Bear Whiz Fool's Gold, <laughs> number 910, uh, 200 made. Now, the USA Trains custom run Bear Whiz beer cars were so well received that there was a club that created this custom run. This custom run was not done by USA Trains but was unique enough to include it in this video and they made a matching caboose to the uh, rolling stock um, including a carved bear on the back of it and this was so popular there was a few other guys that asked the person who created this to make them one. Uh, there was a 1994 Merry Christmas Bear Whiz car made as well on the Woodside Reefer. Okay, at this point in time, we have done USA Trains custom runs from alphabetically from A to F. So, I noticed that we are already almost at the half hour mark, and I know people generally don't like to watch something that's longer than a half hour. So I'm going to split this up into segments. So uh, part one obviously is going to be called USA Train Special Custom Runs from A to F. And then the second segment will start at the letter G 
Not sure where I'll end up yet if I'll be able to finish it off because there's still like 90 minutes worth of video to edit. So we'll see how that goes and see how that ends. But I will make sure to put a link to each video and each video's description so you can easily find the total amount of series to this uh, USA Training Special Custom Runs. With that being said, I know there's a lot of people involved into helping and creating these special USA Trains um, custom runs. So this will have a special uh, place in people's hearts because USA Trains basically did produce the um, custom runs, but the artwork and the design work were done by several people, uh, lots of people were involved in doing this. So generally when I post a photo of a custom run USA Trains, you know, I'll, I'll get a comment, hey, my grandfather helped out with that, or my dad, or my uncle, or this person, a friend of mine was on the board that helped out with this. So this will, these, video, these videos will have, um, you know, special meaning for a lot of people. So I hope uh, people enjoy them and for years to come, and, and I'm just part trying to preserve the uh, hard work that the people did and get them recognized and, and attention uh, towards those people so everybody knows who they are. Uh, I mean, I don't know everybody's name who designed uh, these cars, so if you know who designed these cars or helped out with these cars, Please put them in the comments. I would love to hear who helped out with the artwork and who helped out with the design. Uh, you know, whether it's a club or a person. Uh, I would love to see some feedback from the uh, the viewers. You, if you know who helped out with these, please put it in the comment, and I will make sure that the comment gets uh, posted. And thank you very much in advance for your help. And. Uh, Let's help preserve history and, and uh, get people recognized. All right, thanks a lot, everybody. Stay tuned for the next segment of USA Trains Special Custom Runs, starting with the letter G. See you next time.